the president please be seated The chamber is now in session. We will continue to hear the testimony of the witness Sousti. According to our hearing schedule, yesterday we started hearing the testimony of the witness Sousti. And this morning, the chamber will continue. Cette audition va se poursuivre aujourd'hui. I notice the presence of the civil party lawyers. Please wait until I finish my proceedings. The graph here, can you report on the attendance of the parties to the proceedings? The graph here, Mr. President, all parties to the Mr. proceedings President, are present. The witness Sufti is also present. KW15, who is scheduled to appear next, is also waiting, waiting to be called by the chamber. He has no relationship to any parties to the case. He has already taken an oath. The civil party lawyer, you can notice your presence, so you may proceed. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, I would like to uh, make a short application on, related to uh, the witness, Mr. Susti. Um, can I do so, Mr. President? Est-ce que je peux le faire, Monsieur Président? The President, go ahead. Thank you. Um, related to this witness, Mr. Susti, um, civil party lawyers uh, of Group 2 who represent civil parties um, who are directly concerned um, with the testimony of this witness would like to request for additional time in order to ask the witness specific questions related to two civil parties. The witness um, uh, made the uh, the register. He conducted the prisoner lists, and in these prisoner lists, in different prisoner lists, the name of the father and uh, the husband of two of uh, our clients appears in these lists. Uh, to put specific questions to this witness, um, is not possible to do this in the allocated time that civil parties um, have. For this witness, we have 40 minutes. Um, the general questions uh, to be put to this witness by all civil party groups um, do not allow us to put these specific questions to the witness. And in order to represent our clients, appropriately and to be able to uh, guarantee that their specific interests uh, can be put to this witness and this witness who is the only witness who was working with the prisoner lists. Therefore, we uh, request the chamber to allocate us for these specific questions additional time um, and in order to fulfill our professional 
duties. This is an exception that uh, we request here, and as we have understood the Chamber, the allocated time uh, for questioning witnesses is a general rule and which allows, of course, and under specific circumstances, exceptions. And in this light, we submit this application. Um, I think we would need uh, to specify it. I think we would need uh, 20 additional minutes for questioning the witness on these specific issues. Thank you very much. The President, once again, the Chamber maintains its position regarding the decision which has been already issued, particularly the time allocation for each party as it was issued and once again reiterated yesterday. However, the Chamber has also considered the possibility of the testimony of this witness, which may be related to several documents that need to be presented on the screen in the Chamber during the proceedings. Therefore, the decision to hear the testimony of this witness for one day after considerations amongst judges of the bench may extend to one and a half days. And each party will be given the additional time as allocated for one and a half day hearing of the witness. Therefore, the co-prosecutors will have 30 minutes for one day, and for one and a half day, they would have 45 minutes. For the civil party lawyers, in total, would have 40 minutes for one day, and it increases to 60 minutes for one and a half day. And for the defense counsel, they will have 60 minutes to hear the testi to question this witness. So the, time, the additional time allocation is proportionate to the time allocated for one and a half day hearing of the witness. And it is granted to each party to the proceedings. And the civil party lawyers for the four groups need to discuss among yourself to make an effective use of the additional 20 minutes granted for this particular witness and try to only focus on the main facts before the chamber and not to ask repetitive questions or questions which are not related to the facts which lead to the waste of time. The president. Now we will continue to hear the testimony of the witness. The AB officer, can you show a document with ER and in Khmer? Zero, 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 two, one, one, three, four. On the screen,
the president's what is going on now with the AV unit? Is it possible to have the document shown on the screen? President, can you show the portions Question. to the right? Peut-on montrer la partie de droite? Going a bit to the top part. Mr. Suti, can you please Monsieur examine Suti. this document and tell us what type of document is it in relation to your work? Can you read the document? Or you prefer to have it in hard copy? Suti, I can read the document on screen. There is no need for hard copy. The President, what can you tell us about this document? Is this the document as part of your work at S21? C'est un de ces documents que vous établissez dans le cadre de votre travail. Response. Réponse. This is not my document. Non, ce n'est pas un document que j'ai établi moi-même. That the document belongs to main section or the interrogation unit. Peut-être la section des interrogateurs. I myself never write one, two, three, four, five into the list in that order. Des colonnes numérotées un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, ainsi de suite de cette manière. The President, the AV officer, please uh, remove the last document and show another document with the ER number. The ER number is zero zero Can you Question. zoom out a little bit so we can see a better section of the document? Look, Suti. President, Mr. Suti, Suti, can you examine the document? And can you tell us if this is 
one of the documents that you worked on at S21? Response. The format of the document is different from the format that I used. I did not know who made this document. It could be the interrogation unit who produced this document. Can you remove this document and replace it with another document with EN 0021084? Soon, the president again, the ARN is zero 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 two one zero eight four quatre vingt quatre zero 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 two dix quatre vingt quatre. The President Suti, can you examine this document and tell us the source of this document? Is this a type of document that you worked on? Response. This format of document is the ones that I used. Oui, c'est bien le modèle que j'utilisais. However, I actually worked on this document, but in the column miscellaneous and the description under that was entered by somebody else. Et dans la colonne description, ce sont des données qui ont été introduites par quelqu'un d'autre. And I think. And this is my assumption Et je pense that only the interrogation unit can write comments under the column miscellaneous. Dans la and for me, for my part, I would write all the information in various other columns except the last column under the heading miscellaneous. À toutes les colonnes, sauf cette dernière colonne. The president, what about the handwriting notation, which means complete? Who wrote that? Il y a une notation qui dit terminé. Qui a écrit cela? Response: It is not my handwriting. Réponse: Ce n'est pas mon écriture. Judge Lavange, you take the floor. Oui, Monsieur le Président, pour la clarté des débats, puisque nous sommes un certain nombre à ne pas lire le clair, est-ce qu'il serait possible d'indiquer 
euh, sommairement quel est le contenu de chaque document qui est présenté à l'écran. Il me semble que pour le second document, j'ai cru reconnaître une fiche biographique d'une partie civile, E280. Là, nous avons une liste, semble-t-il, de prisonniers, mais est-ce que c'est possible d'avoir éventuellement ne serait-ce que le titre de la liste Et ceci afin de d'enregistrement de, sur le transcript d'audience. The title of this document is the General Staff Office. Bureau de l'État Major. Due to the hundreds and thousands of documents, it is difficult to verify whether the documents were prepared and used by this witness or whether they were prepared and used by various other units. And it is also in order to compare his testimony through the testimonies of previous witnesses. The document of a biography of John Maid was prepared by S24 or the re-education office at Brazil. And this witness referred to that office as S21D. So this is just to verify the document. The AB unit, please remove this document and replace it with a document with the EAN 00106369. I repeat 0 The President the title of the document is the list of prisoners whose integrations were postponed on in January 77th. Please move on to the second page. Mr. Suti, please examine this document with the said title. Monsieur and look at the second page of this document and the subsequent pages. The question is, is this the document that you prepared and worked on at S21 or not? Response. I did not prepare this document. When it comes to the postponement of the interrogation, it exclusively belonged to the interrogation unit. The AV unit is instructed to remove the picture from the screen. Now, please put another document 
Plus I A N zero 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 eight seven zero three six on the screen zero trois six. The President, this document is entitled The Incoming List of Prisoners dated 28 of April 1978. And the name appears here is Trung Thi Nieng, aged 14. Female, 14 ans, il s'agit d'une femme. Farmer, Vietnamese. Agricultrice, Could Vietnamienne. Could you please uh, scroll down? Si vous voulez, uh, Mr. Souti, could you please look at this document Souti, and can you recognize it whether document. it is part est of the S21 list uh, regarding the entry of prisoners on, the, uh, on April 1978? Uh, Response. Uh, Au mois d'avril it belonged to our unit. I did uh, prepare this document. À notre the president, could you ce please document. move on to the next document? Uh, this document bears the same template uh, with the same le même format, le même, uh, du même content, model, uh, except uh, the, the different name of the prisoner. And this document bears the ERN. De différents noms de zero 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 eight seven zero three seven. The title is the same. The incoming prisoner list, liste des prisonniers entrants, date twenty eighth of April nineteen seventy eight. The prisoner named Thea Paul, aged twenty nine, male, base people. And uh, Tapo Commune, Chantri District, Zone 243. Mr. Suti, can you Monsieur Suti, recognize this document? Que vous ce document? Response. Réponse. I prepared this document to établi ce document. The President, the AV unit is advised to remove this document from the screen and please put on another document with ERN 00021270. Vous voulez bien afficher ce document à l'écran. The president, uh, please scroll down a little bit further.
cho ai cái xa này. Can you recognize this document? Uh, because its template uh, is different uh, from the previous documents, but your name appears on the piece of document. Uh, this document bears here a number 00021270 entitled The List of People Who Entering S21, dated 24th of May 1978, uh, the person who received them was T. So what do you think about this document? Quel est votre Pouvez-vous nous renseigner Response. sur ce document This document uh, was also prepared document by me, but I would like to give further clarification to um, understand this. Through un brother, sur ce document, the term in par le terme used uh, frère, in this uh, document, le terme utilisé dans ce document, on the second line, on peut voir ce terme apparaître Normally, la deuxième ligne. I received this document from Hoy, not from other subordinates, because other people would not be allowed to go into S21. And this document was given to me through uh, that person I said, and I did not receive it directly from the person who would have sent uh, the document. Only Hui would be the one who brought it to me. And I only retyped uh, the contents of the document according to the original copy. The president, uh, please the next. Le président, uh, scroll passer, down. Um, à la partie suivante de ce document. Can, can we change uh, to the next si page, Mr. Sutti, could you please suivant. look at this Monsieur document Sutti, with ERN 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00 through 00012274. It is about uh, the list of incoming prisoners dated on the 24th. On the same date uh, in 1978, there were 25, uh, 29 prisoners. Ho was the person who sent them to the prison, and T was the person who received them. So could you please tell the court what do you think about this document? Response. As I already stated earlier on, I did not receive the documents directly from the person who delivered it. The list was given to me through Hoare, and I only uh, wrote down Hoare's name on the list as the person who delivered uh, the document. Actually, he was not the one who delivered it at the outset. And uh, I basically received uh, the letters from Hui, who was outside. I never personally or directly got it from the person who would be delivering it. The President, uh, there are plenty of documents to be shown. I, we are not able to show all the documents, but we would like to ask you regarding this date of the document. Uh, here, it dated 24th of May 1978, for example. And uh, there were five times that uh, such lists were sent uh, along with prisoners. So at one, in one occasion, there were 
four or five or even twenty nine are prisoners to be sent. So can you tell the court whether you received five or received prisoners five times a day? That's why you could uh, write down the list or prepare such a list, five intakes. Response. It was obvious that uh, prisoners were sent in on a regular basis from offices and from sector. Sometimes there were fewer people being sent, sometimes there were more people being sent, and more frequently too. The President, thank you, the AV unit is instructed to switch to the normal view. Next question. Question suivante. Regarding the detainees at uh, the Recorrection Center, Pre-SAW, or you named it SAW 21D. Regarding the detainees who were detained at that uh, prison, were you also involved in preparing the list of those detainees? Response. Regarding the detainees detained at S24 prison, I was not involved because there was each uh, document worker for each respective unit. I worked only under supervision of Peng, who was the chief of the interrogators, and I was the one who summarized uh, the list. The president. Le president. What happened uh, to the detainees who were removed to be smashed and those in particular at S21 who, correction, S24 who were taken to be executed directly at uh, the killing field? Uh, so what happened to their lists of names, for example? Par exemple. Response. Réponse. I don't know much about the detainees at S24, pour ce qui est des prisonniers à S24. but when detainees were sent to be detained at S21, they were under the control of the guards at this uh, prison, and uh, of course, detainees would be taken out to be executed, as the president said. Uh, the president, so it suggests that uh, you don't know much about uh, the detainees who were taken to be executed at Jiang Aik. You were aware of the detainees who were taken from S21 to S21 and then returned to S21. Is that uh, correct? Puis, uh, qui revenait à S21. S exact. Response. Réponse. It is correct, exact. Your Honor. Monsieur le Président. Look, man. President. Yesterday, le you have you spoken of hier, the removal of detainees from their cells to be executed and that uh, there would be a list 
units prepared also after those detainees were exterminated and that uh, Ho would also be in charge to bring back the list and uh, have it handed to you to compile them so that the final list uh, would be prepared and reported to the superior. In total, and to the best of your recollection, how many prisoners were smashed at Chengak? Uh, exécuté à Chungak. Response. I don't know the Réponse. exact numbers of exact mass killing at Chungak. I was the only person who prepared the list and uh, I could not manage to even summarize the list on a monthly basic or annual basis. So I, did, I don't know much about the, the exact numbers of people killed at Chiang Kai. President, uh, from the very outset, when you were assigned to prepare the list, incoming prisoners and outgoing prisoners, whether you had to verify the final leads, and uh, sometimes you only were informed of the list of people who had been smashed in order to compile the common list of all the detainees at uh, S21, including important prisoners and Western or foreign prisoners. The next question is, ultimately, before your group left S21, it was on the 6th or 7th of January 1979, the date uh, which you left, did you notice that uh, some prisoners were left behind in the prison? If so, how many were they? Response. Réponse. Regarding the detainees who would have been left behind on the 6th or 7th of January 1979, uh, I think I have no idea because uh, all detainees had already been smashed before that date except that those who were detained at uh, the special prison and I had no idea how many of them were detained at those uh, uh, special prisons. President, uh, you were the document work uh, and you was the register and that uh, you had uh, to prepare the list of detainees who would then be taken to the empty cells or rooms and later on, you would go there to verify the names of the detainees who would have already been placed in those respective rooms or cells in order to make sure that you can communicate to your superior or to the guards or to the interrogators. The question is, during the time when you had to fulfill your task, 
because you told the court that you had to work 24 hours de vos tâches a day. Vous avez dit que vous deviez travailler so what was your impression regarding the treatment of uh, those detainees, the treatment they received from the cadres of S21 while they were being detained at uh, their vicinity? Can you please elaborate on this a little bit? Response. Réponse. When I would uh, go to verify the list Lorsque of the prisoners inside uh, the prison cells, I did not pay great attention to their condition, although I knew that uh, they suffered a great deal because most of them were very thin. And the majority of them maigre. was so skinny and uh, malnourished, I may say, and uh, there were not a significant uh, ventilation or air circulation inside the room. The president uh, had you observed that uh, the prisoners sustained some kind of injury or wounds and were they treated after all? Response. I care for that uh, the medics would be in charge uh, to offer the medical treatment to them and it was my business only to verify the list and I had to rush back to my work. The president, could you please tell us about the situation, the moment when detainees uh, when detainees would be walked to the gate to wait for the trucks before they would be taken to be smashed. Uh, so you said uh, that detainees' names would be called again and uh, to make sure that whether any detainees was not accounted for, for example. So if the prisoners were weak and sick, what happened to them? Response. Before they boarded the truck, Avant ne the detainees were camions, malnourished on voir que les and they were blindfolded. Uh, but I did not give bandés. my great impression uh, mm. in relation to their physical condition or mm. well-being because I only paid attention to verifying their names Moi, pas au de mon attention, mon et and uh, I could only see that they were very weak by then. Très faible. The president, to verify their le names or against uh, their biographies, for example, did you ever note that uh, any detainee fell si seriously ill, that he or she could si not even tell you or help you to verify their biography before they were exterminated? Donner des informations sur sa biographie avant d'être emmené et exécuté. Qu'est-ce qui se passait à ce moment-là La réponse si les détenus étaient trop um, faibles. But I think they were very thin, but no one would Alors, uh, become maigres, so ill that they could not assist me uh, with uh, the, the verification of their biographies. I could just pour ask them questions and they could respond. The president, what time would it be for detainees to be taken to be executed? Response. 
Normally, it took place at about 4 p.m. The president, so it is fair to say that at 4 p.m. the operation started. So when would it end? Response. The verification of the names of the detainees to be executed would not take long. It would take me about an hour or so. The president, uh, what were the groups of uh, people who took detainees to be executed and how many were they in that group? Response. The people who took detainees to be executed, I don't think I can understand this because the whore would be in charge and whore would know more about this. And whore was the one who ordered such execution. And who ordered uh, the special mm, unit uh, with Tamin or to Peng or to three The president. Uh, which group was in charge of taking away the Vietnamese prisoners of war to be executed or taking them to be interrogated? Response. The interrogation of the Vietnamese prisoners were under the supervision and charge of Mom Nai, alias Chan. President, uh, during the time when you dealt with documents at S21, was were you performing your task as your role uh, uh, in your role as a soldier or as an ordinary citizen or just normal staff? De votre mission en tant que personnel, uh, Response. Ou bien en tant que I don't know Réponse. for sure, but Je I can presume certain, that peux, um, um, I, I was doing the job of a soldier or military unit uh, because the general staff was fully in charge of S21. The president, uh, when you worked, did you wear soldier or military uniform or you wore ordinary or civilian clothes? Response. During that time, we were not allowed to wear uniforms. Uh, we were given black clothes, and the guards were also wearing black clothes, not uh, military uniforms. The president, were you wearing barrettes? Des, uh, like the, the cap uh, used uh, for revolutionary armies at de, that time. Uh, couvre -chef utilisé par les armées révolutionnaires à l'époque. Response. People did not wear Réponse. uniforms, Et no barrettes or caps. We only wore black chapeau, clothes. That's all. The president, uh, I have noire. no further questions, Le pas questions à vous poser. and uh, I don't know where the judges of the si bench uh, would like to put questions to this witness. Questions Judge Silver Cartwright, you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le président. It is uh, as the President has um, questioned you that you had a very clear routine 
when you um, received incoming prisoners and, uh, how, uh, and the manner in which you questioned them. Is that correct? Response. The practice we used was like the way that I described. So that the majority of incoming prisoners were brought straight to you from the trucks. You compiled their summary biographies. They were photographed led to their cells by the guards, and you went and noted the cell number for each prisoner, and then the details on to the interrogators. Was that your routine? Response, that is my daily operation. Regarding other miscellaneous works, I did not really have many except to stick the photograph onto the biography. There were, however, some prisoners who were not processed in this way. For example, Foreigners and important prisoners were taken straight to the special prison without their biographies being taken by you and without being photographed. Is that correct? Response. Regarding the senior prisoners, they were processed at the special prison. And the lists of those special prisoners were made by Hoare, who gave them to you to put in your, uh, to compile into your lists. Is that correct? Response, that is correct. Oui, exact. And there was another group Question. that was not processed in the same way. Uh, and you have confirmed this, manière, that children dit, were not recorded. Is that right? Response, that is correct. And I think yesterday that you estimated that between one and 200 children might have passed through S21. Is that right? Response. Regarding the estimate of the children who were detained at S21, although the number is, is not clear, it is my presumption only, and indeed the children were detained at S21. And uh, children would come in with their parents in quite small numbers, maybe three or four at a time. Would that be right? Response, that is correct. And those children would be removed from their parents and in another part of the, of the prison from where you presumed they were taken to be killed. Is that right? Response. When the children were detained as they came along, 
with their parents, les enfants qui arrivaient avec leurs parents, I was not really sure whether they were separated and detained separately from their children or they were detained together with their parents. But the children would be in small groups and you presumed they were taken at some stage to be killed. Response. Réponse. For the children who in touch the prison, I was not sure how long they were detained until Je they were taken out. It's up to four to instruct pain to Alors remove them. And did children go on the trucks at night with adults who were being taken away to be killed? Au site d'exécution. Response. Regarding Réponse. the people who were taken to be killed, the children were not taken along non, with the adults. Pas d'enfants qui étaient emmenés en même temps que des adultes. Do you have any knowledge Question. about how que vous savez these children were taken away to be killed? Ces enfants étaient emmenés pour être tués. Response. Réponse. I did not know regarding this matter. It was the duty non, that Ho assigns to Pain. Une tâche qui était Were they à perhaps par killed or. around S21 itself? Do you know that? Response. Réponse. Regarding this matter, I am not point, completely sure je suis pas sûr. because it did not involve with the list making, Car, which was part of my duty. On so pas de liste I was not know when the children moi, were taken listes, out. It depends on when who ordered pain to take them out. Que Thank you. Now, could the AV unit Question. put a so document on the screen, please? Document. Zero, 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 six, seven, two, eight. Sixty-seven, two, eight. Zero, 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 sixty-seven, two, eight. Can you scroll down to the bottom of that list, please? There is some handwriting at the bottom of that list. Can you read out what it says? Would you prefer someone else to read it out? Que quelqu'un d'autre lise cette annotation? Demande la juge Cartwright. Response. I would like to clarify your question, Your Honor. Je n'ai pas très bien compris votre question. Because I do not yet understand your question. Well, my assumption is that the Khmer there reads in the handwriting, total prisoners, including 160 children, smashed by Brother Stray, are 178 persons, with a date 23 July 1997 
and a signature Hor. Is that correct? Avec pour signature celle de Hor. Est-ce exact? Nick, would you happily respond? That is Hor's signature. Oui, c'est bien la signature de Hor. Does it also speak of a total of 178 prisoners, including 160 children, having been killed? Response. Regarding this matter, I did not see the children the 160 children and the making of this list was only for the 18th prisoners according to the number of the prisoners on the list and I did not know where the children were taken from and I presumed it is written by Ho. Well, another witness has suggested that this list of 160 children were children who came from Presor. I, I am simply trying to ask you if that is what the document says. Response. This document actually confirms that, and let me clarify a bit further, regarding the 160 children, I did not see them being detained at that location. Well, my question to you is this. Is it possible that the small groups of children who arrived at S21 were taken to Presar, where later on, in a big group, they were killed uh, in the manner indicated by this document. Response. Response. As I have just said, for the children, the 160 children, they were not sent to S21 office. Thank you. Could you return the uh, screen to the usual position, please? As children's names and numbers were not recorded by you, we can assume that the numbers of those killed at Chung Ek or at S21 are greater than the numbers that your documents show. Is that correct? As I have just said, Réponse. Comme je viens de le dire, it was my conclusion, but I did not uh, know the details ce que and, unless I see the list. Pas les détails. Faut des listes. Now, when it came to your routine for compiling execution lists, can I summarize it as follows? The accused would annotate the lists, saying which prisoners were to be killed. The lists then went to Hor, who gave them to you. Is that right? Response, that is correct. You then made a separate list of those to be executed, tallied the numbers, recorded the cell and building number, 
and then sent the execution list to Hor. Is that correct? Response, that is correct. When a final name Question. check was made at the prison gate, you checked the names going onto the trucks against that list. Is that right? Response, that is correct. You worked very closely with Hoare, did you not? In fact, you shared an office with him, is that right? Response. The office where I worked, it was Hoare's office. He had a general supervision, and I worked on a list also in that document. The photographers also worked in that office. You told the president uh, a short time ago that the prisoners were very skinny and malnourished. Have you not also said to the co-investigating judges, some died of starvation and others were tortured to the point of death? Did you make those statements? Est-ce que vous avez dit cela? Response. Could you please uh, repeat your question? Votre question, s'il vous plaît. Did you tell question. the co-investigating judges that some prisoners died because of starvation? and others were tortured to the point of death. Response, that is correct. We have heard evidence that says that 1978, in particular, was a very busy year for S21. Is that how you recall it? Response, that is correct. From your observation in Hoare's office, did you ever see trucks arrive at S21, which had to be turned away because you could not fit them into the prison or had no time to process them? Response. Regarding this matter, let me clarify it again. Could you please repeat your question? Did you ever see trucks of prisoners arrive at S21 and be turned away because you could not fit any more prisoners in? Response. Response. For the prisoners who were transported in by vehicles, they were only transported by Hoist Group because the, the drivers from outside were not authorized to drive into the compound. You told the president earlier that you did not keep a list of the total of prisoners at S21 or those who were sent to be killed. Is that correct? Response. 
réponse. I would like to confirm that for the general list, it did not include every name. Nous n'avions pas de liste générale représentant tous les noms. Mais à la fin des années 1979, all the prisoners were taken out and killed, and those remained were those who were allowed to work. Et ceux qui sont restés sont and ceux qui étaient autorisés à travailler. And there were some inside a special prison, but I did not know the exact number. Mais je n'en sais pas le nombre exact. So the lists that have been found at S21 are not complete because you did not list every single name in them. Is that right? Vous n'avez pas repris absolument tous les noms des prisonniers dans ces listes. Est-ce bien exact? Response. The list at S21 did not add all the total numbers, so the total number was not known. However, let me clarify a bit further on this matter. Although the total, the grand total number was not calculated, or the number of the Prisoners at a special prison. Number of prisoners. The names were sent by hall to me to type into the list. But the names of the prisoners detained at a special prison were sent by hall to me to type into the list. Finally, did you ever compile a list of all the staff at S21? Reprenons tous les membres du personnel de S21. A response. Réponse. Regarding the staff of the S21, the list of the S21 staff, I did not compile it. Non, je n'ai pas établi ce genre de liste. Because I was in the guard unit. Parce que je faisais partie. I did not know whether the list of the cadres and staff working at S21 was ever compiled or not. Regarding the platoon and the company, who directly supervised both of them. So I did not know the total number of the combatants or cadres or staff working at S21 at all. Because the list makers were assigned to respective unit. And previously, for the guard unit, the list was under the supervision of. I'm sorry, it's the interrogation unit, which was supervised by Meng, and Meng in charge of the the list of the general list for that section, as he used to do it in Division Seven O Three. So I would say the list of the combatants, the cadres, and the staff of S21 was under the supervision of Maine. He would have the grand list. And to make it easier to understand for the guard unit, it was not like in the war time when people were injured or died in the battle. So because there was no war, then the cadres who actually supervised the list themselves would know the total number for their respective unit. Thank you very much. I have no further questions, Mr. President. Judge Cartwright. Merci, Mr. President. I have no further questions to pose to the witnesses. The president. Now it is time for a break. The chamber will take a seventeen-minute break until twenty to eleven, when we will resume to continue hearing the testimony of this witness, court officer. Can you provide necessary refreshments to the witness and bring him back at the set time? The hearing is adjourned. La séance est suspendue. L'audience est suspendue. Somme d'une grande chambre. The graphie, all rise.